heading to a safe port, lucky to be alive. After being rescued by a cargo ship in the middle of the Mediterranean, this was the moment they were brought ashore by the Greek Coast Guard at Kalamata port. They welcome tourists in this idyllic town, but there's little sympathy for those who cross the sea in search of a better life and end up here by accident. Keyside prayers for some of the 41 survivors who are mostly Somalis, Ethiopians and Egyptians. A three-year-old boy also made it to safety. His smile gives no hint of the ordeal they'd all been through. The police detained them in the local stadium where they were registered and appeared to be in good health. Now they've just been released and have told us about the horrors they witnessed at sea. Abdul Qadir says after setting off from Libya, they were forced by the smuggler to move on to an already crowded wooden boat that then started to sink. At that moment, I saw a lot of uh, friends and a lot of families crying and, uh, and showing and saying, we need a safe, we need a safe, but we can't... They we were can't. shouting for help? Yeah, they, they were shouting for help, but no one, can, no one can help because every one of us wanted to wanted to save his life only. They're all sure that at least 400 people drowned. Officials say they're yet to confirm that so many died. One possible reason for the lack of information is because the tragedy was at night, far from land. Said asked to borrow my phone. He was desperate to reach his mother back in Ethiopia to tell her he'd survived. She worried that I am died. And now she said to me, I am happy. Some were overwhelmed as they got through to parents who had feared the worst. The people we've spoken to here don't even know where they're going to sleep tonight. But what they are saying is they're still determined to make it further into Europe and many are talking about trying to get to Italy. But at the same time, the other side of the Mediterranean, there are tens of thousands of people willing to make that extraordinary journey across the Mediterranean despite all the risks. Will Ross, BBC News, Kalamata, Greece.